What's up everyone I'm back with another video of this series. And as you saw from the title, this is 10 things Kefir has done right. I made a video like this one before, but it's different this time. Because it's not just my opinion. I asked around the LDOE community to see what everyone's favorite feature is. And this list is the results. If you enjoy the video please consider subscribing. And with that said, let's hop into the video. To start off this list, we have the Revenge Raid System. For players newer to raiding, this may seem like a bad thing, but once your base is properly raid-proofed, it can be a really cool way to get a free raid. One of the newer changes on this list is the loading screen change. This is a nice refresher from the same loading screen LDOE has had for the last 6 years. Plus it can be changed every update to summarize it and be an update teaser. Moving down the list, there's calendar events. This is a useful feature because they ensure there's always something to do in the game. Most of the time, the rewards are pretty good, and I personally want to see the extraction event return. I think the removal of the star system helped the events out, and my only complaint with these calendar events are that there could be a lot more of them. Other than that this is a really good feature. Now the classic LDOE bug, the wall trick. This is the OG way to get rich in the game and knowing how to do it is essential to grinding alpha. At this point, it's such a big and useful feature. Kefir couldn't remove it if they wanted to because it would change the game too much. This is in my opinion, the best feature in the game. This one is a favorite of the free to play players. And that's the level 33 reward of 3 free purple blueprints. This is a good way for free to play players to get the purple mods without having to grind the police station. Coming in at 5 are the dog's perks, more specifically the true friend and coin perk. The coin perk can give you one free coin every day, which may not seem like a lot, but it eventually adds up to give you a good amount of coins, just for having a dog with this skill. And the true friend is fun because it provides backup, when fighting zombies doing that little extra damage on the zombies saving your weapon durability. Plus it gives you access to the extra loot in Bunker Alpha Floor 4. This next one is one I asked to be added in a different video, and that's the mod all option on the weapon benches. This makes modding weapons much faster and more efficient, and overall runs a lot smoother than it did before. Moving on down the list is the level system of the recycler. This is a really cool concept where the higher your level is the better stuff you get from recycling. This encourages the players to use it more and is overall a really cool feature. One of my personal favorites are the special storage places. These are a really cool and unique reward that helps provide a lot of extra storage saving you room. For example, the fridge can store up to 3000 food items, saving you room in your chests. These storages don't only function well, but they also look cool and can store your items in style. And finally, the most overlooked and most used feature in the game, the ticket system at Bunker Alpha. This is something not a lot of people think about, but it is actually a really cool reward system. Without this Bunker Alpha wouldn't be nearly as good. And if you ask me the ticket system is very close to perfect and the most underrated feature in the game. And that's the list I hope you all enjoy. If you did I would appreciate you hitting the like button. It helps the video do better and is much appreciated. I also wanted to make a quick PSA that if this channel reaches 500 subscribers before the end of the month of July, I will be doing a giveaway on my Discord, so if you were wanting to subscribe, now would be the time to do so. Anyway with all that said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.